I'm going to be demonstrating how to clean a crown. You don't want to scale any portion of the porcelain itself. If you are on the porcelain, it may cause a gray scratch, and this can actually be wiped off by using a 2x2 two two gauze, but it's best practice to just stay off the porcelain altogether. You want to stay subgingival and use a light exploratory-like stroke, unless you feel a piece of calculus below the margin, then you must use an activation stroke with short 1 to 2 millimeter overlapping strokes, just like usual. If I see a lot of bleeding around a crown, I'll use a power-driven scaler to flush out the gingiva. Once again, you want to avoid placing the ultrasonic tip directly on the crown material itself, whether it's silver or gold or porcelain. Generally, if I see bleeding, I'll stay in the area doing multi-directional exploratory-like strokes for about 20 to 30 seconds to reduce the bacterial levels. Adapt around the crown margin just like you would a non-restored tooth. With the power scaler, use a probe-like stroke all the way around the margin, making sure that the tip is always in contact with the tooth surface for comfort. Crown margins make a perfect hiding place for bacteria, so it is very important that we are caring for these areas to prevent disease. There is a special polishing paste available to you if you need to polish crowns, as it is not recommended to polish crowns with our regular Profi paste. 